Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Today I'm doing Sensational September Day Number 12. And the prompt is Fruits. And I'm having a little issues with this one because I don't have a lot of things that have fruits on them. So, I uh, went through some of my napkins and I have found this image here. And I think I'm going to use it because these are, um, oh, what do you call them? Um, I don't know. But anyways, it'll come to me. But this is a, a dragon fruit plant here. These, I'm not really sure what they are. So I'm going to use this. I thought it was pretty. I've already got it pretty much cut down, so let's see if I can't get these two to pull apart. And I'm going to use it right here. Okay. And I was able to get both of them at the same time. Because it was a three. And I got two at once. Pretty good. Okay, so let me set this to the side. Alright, let me get my Mod Podge out. And we're just going to Mod Podge it down. And I'm going to make a belly band to go with this. And I'm just going to put it on the whole thing. So, let me spin this around here. Now, I want it all the way to, because the bottom is where I'm going to put my, the bottom but it'll be all right and I'm gonna go over the top of it as well so there's that get over here and get this corner it laid down Up under here Come on, there we go I'm trying to be careful and not brush too hard to rip it and I'm using the finish on this because I don't want it to be glossy.
Okay. So let me dry this real quick and I'll be right back. Here's what it looks like. And I went ahead and while I was drying the other one, I went ahead and made my piece for my belly band. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And I just took a piece that will match up with this. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to pretty much call this one good. So I'm going to put my fruit down here. And I'm going to put my date down here. And there's that. Now, one other thing I got to do is to go back. Because I pulled up my little rings that goes around my uh, holes. Because I want them to be reinforced so I pulled them up and I'm just going to put them back down just like that but I'm going to give them a little bit of glue to help hold them on that way I know they stay Just a little. There's that one. So later on I can make find something else whenever I'm thinking about it and I'll find something else it's got fruits fruit and I'll make a, a tag with fruits so there's that with the belly band so we're gonna call this done if you like my video, well, I'll put number page 13 with this, so, alright. So there's 11, and there's 12. Oh, and I did that backwards, that's not 21. Okay. Okay, now we're back to do Sensational September Day 13. And the prompt is purple. And purple happens to be my favorite color. So, I have picked out a bunch of things that I like in purple. And I'm going to use this. Uh, it's kind of like a tie-dye background. And I'm going to make a tie-dye pocket for this page. So, um, and then I've picked out a bunch of things 
that are in pocket, I mean, that are in purple, that I've always um, wanted in purple. And I'm going to kind of collage the page together in the purple images. I think that would be one of the easiest ways that I know to do it. And I'm going to make a tag to go with it. So. Filled up, so easily put it back down. Okay, so here is my page. So there's that down. And it's a little bit bigger, but I'll just trim it up. No biggie. And then I'm just going to easily put a, let's see, I want it this way, so I want to keep that border, so I'm going to put a real thin layer of glue right on the edge. So there's my pocket. Okay, so I'm going to take my scissors real quick and I'm going to lightly trim up this edge. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to put down is this because it represents the purple plus it tells that I that my purple is my favorite color and I've had these images saved in my uh, um, um, Oh, my Pinterest page for a long time, so. Okay. So there's that. And I'm just going to easily put a light deal of glue right down the edge of the paper. I am about a it's gonna go right there. Oops. Did that get there? There we go. So there's that and I've got a couple more images like the purple butterfly, the purple sunset, 
um, one of my per favorite flowers is a purple hydrania and a purple hibiscus. And that's what this is. And I've always wanted a purple 69 Camaro. So those are some of my things that I have always enjoyed. Okay, so I've got some different purple um, like pages that I'm going to just randomly um, put some images on like this. Nope. Kind of want it with a bit of a bit of a border so it'll make the core stand out. And then I'm going to take I've got some I got some colored or paper images or pages that I'm going to use from a book. And Trim off this very small edge because it's straight and I don't want it straight. Boy, I trimmed my nails up and boy, that was a mistake because that makes it harder to trim out these papers. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to trim out around it. And I know that ain't straight. So I got to get my cutter. that because I'm gonna take and let's see find something real quick so I have a piece of this scrap I think I'm just going to make an additional border around it now I'm gonna put it here yes that's what I'm gonna do that So there's that. Okay, so I'm going to take and ink up the edges. I went and got my Distress Oxide, the Wilted Violet. And 
and I'm just going to There's that, and then I wanted to, because I goofed a while ago, where is it, where is it, okay, I'll just use this, and I'll take and run this underneath here, and I'm going to lightly Distress this edge just a little. Just like so. That way it stands out just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. This one was easy for me because, like I said, purple is my favorite color, and okay. And this, I think, to be honest, I'm just going to. Okay, so that's four, and I'll punch out the hose here in a minute, but there's that for the moment, and I've already got a tag that I was going to use for something else, but I'm going to use it for here, so I'm going to glue it onto the back of this paper here. Make it a little more sturdier. And also to give it the purple image that I want. Almost messed up. So I'm going to put it here. I'll try to get it to where I don't have to trim off much. Okay, and I'll take my corner rounder, round the corners back out. Okay, so let me put this with the rest of my scrap paper. 
Like that. Oh, my dust is beginning to. Okay, scrap, 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 scrap. Okay, so there's my tag. Not pretty. So I'm going to take this image. And let's see. Hmm. And I'm going to. Up my just like that, and then I'm going to put it down. a little and do, 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 do. I need another piece of book page that'll be big enough for that image okay here's one of my scrap ones that I've already been using on other things so I'm just gonna rip it Just like that. And then I'm going to come right underneath. And there we go. Put that up there with the rest of my... I'm setting a little offset because I got something I'm going to put on the other edgings and I'm going to come back and I'm going to okay ink up Around the edges here. Okay. So there's that. So I went and got some, um, I'm going to put this here, I 
And I always take and heat the ends of mine just, just, just a tad because I don't want them frilling. So I'm going to get my fabric tack and come on, get up there and stay. So I'm going to put a little bit of fabric tack right here and I'm just going to run it straight up like so. Just like that. Okay. So there's that. And then I have this light purple lace. And I'm going to bring it and put it right in here too. Let's see, um, so I'm going to take and put a strip right down the middle of this here. Isn't that pretty? Okay, it's just a little bit longer. Okay, there's that. And I'm going to take um take and make me six purple eyelets to go on that page. Okay. So there's that. Because I want to keep those reinforced as much as I can so that they don't tear out and then that just gives it a little bit of added purple also One of the other things that I'm going to do, I've got my stencil out, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to add a little here and there, like so. Don't have to be perfect. I just want to add a little something to it. like that and then I'm going to do the same on the back side of this tag because it'll still be where you can write on it but it'll just be have a little bit of 
decorative on it. Okay. And there's that. Like I said, it don't have to be perfect. going to leave it at that. Set that off to the side. Cover up this purple edge. Same here. like so okay so I am going to take a little of this ribbon and this ribbon where did my scissors go right here along about the same length as both just like that and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it like take this one and I'm going to make it a little shorter too and these are going to go right here and I'm using my tiny little attacher it goes right there I'm going to put one more at the very bottom so it holds it a little better. And that's the way it goes. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to take a little bit of this lace here. And I'm going to run it, do I? Yeah, I am. I don't know that I want it to full length. Let's just do it like that. Okay. Fabric tack out again. And come on. I'll put a thin layer. Don't need a lot. And I just want that little bit of a frilly edge to hang off. Not much. Just like that. There we go. And then I'm going to take this purple and I'm going to come back over the top of it. So, we're going to 
get a little bit more. I'm just going to put one strip of stays down so that it don't catch going into the pocket. Okay. Still journaled on it, but it got, has a little bit, and then this will slide right down in there, and that's all my favorite purple things. So, now I need to um, clean the tip of that off, put my top on, and... I make my own um, bead toppers for my bottles like this because I lose them so badly. So I make them. See, I even have one from a tacky glue. But if I don't, I will lose them bad boys. And before you know it, I can't find them. So it's easier for me to do it that way. Okay, so... I've already got them made up. So I'm going to round the edges. So there's that. And then I'm going to take my purple dauber with my purple ink. put my date I'm going to do it just the opposite and let it be diagonally okay I may need to put just a little bit of fabric tack under this one since it's going to be Right there on the, there we go.
So that is my page for purple. So if you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. And I hope everyone has a happy and blessed day. Thank you.